K versus G. After the, these two pools finish, then I can start pool three and four. You in pool three. So G versus uh, TK. I wanted to get another setup because I think we need three setups to really run through this tournament. But apparently, someone we decided not just the cards anymore. That sucks. So we have two setups. Wow, so G is actually leading. That's crazy. I wasn't expecting him to actually lead. Um, TK has been winning Project M tournaments. I think he won the last tournament that we had. Um, no, he didn't. He lost to Shin. But he beat me in winner's finals. It was amazing, actually. Uh, I was up two, and he was able to make a comeback. And that was sick. So I'm, I, I'll never count him out. Even when it looks like he's losing, he always finds a way to come back. And I think that's what really makes him a great player. There's, there's going to be a loser's bracket. Yes, this is going to be double elimination. So I don't think melee is going to happen today. I do not think melee is going to happen at all today. Um, but this is just pools. After pools, I'm going to do bracket. Top three makes it out. Um, we have four pools with five people each. Well, I wouldn't say five, I'd say about, we're missing, how many people? I mean, let me look at the entrance. It's not 20, we have 18, wow. So we have 18 entrants. It's pretty big for, you know, the Bahamas small community. Yeah, so we have 18 entrants. And I had to add like two buys. But Project M always generates a lot of players. Um, we have, our melee scene is pretty big too. But not all of the melee vets are here. They're to work. And most of the people that are here, they really love Project M. Just because of the balance. I also agree with that too. I'm really good in melee and PM, so I'm not really that biased. But if when it comes to newer players, I would always recommend that you get them into PM first. So that they learn all of the advanced techniques. And then slowly, they'll you know, transition to melee. And wow, it looking like G may be able to make this, and he was able to take game one from TK. Okay, that in itself is an upset, but this puts him in a good position. TK definitely isn't take too likely to that. Yeah, PM is a lot more easy to jump into, and it really helps with melee too. Um, so. Alright, so I, I'm wondering what stage <clears throat> what stage he's going to go to. It's, it is hard to get a feel for melee. Um, melee is a game, it, you, you have to like, 
if you grew up with it, you got hyped for watching the videos and stuff, it's a really good game. Once you already know all the advanced techniques and you just need to grow from there. But I feel like newer players coming in, PM. And I know a lot of people, you know, we have a lot of melee elitists that may think, uh, why play PM when it's a dying scene or whatever. It's not really dying, it's just that it's, th it's not at majors because of Nintendo, but I don't think it's, it's dying because it's a bad game or anything. So it looks like um, TK decided to take G to Yoshi Story. Um, I would think that he, to he yeah he chose to stay just because the blast zones are a lot smaller, and he's able to kill Kirby quicker. But at the same time, I think he kind of handicapped himself because Kirby can kill Charizard pretty early on the stage as well. Kirby has a very strong forward smash. Oh, nice! Went for the tech chase into that hammer. I think it's called Squall Hammer. I, I don't know. Ah, I don't I don't like how Gary's kind of I mean. And, not Gary G. I don't like how G is kind of just running off stage and trying to get these stupid um, new, um, forward airs. Clearly Charizard is higher than you, dude. You're going to have to try and cover him coming down on you with an up air. And he's kind of... Uh, I don't know. TK is not falling for that anymore. If he was falling for that last match, he's not going to fall for that now. So again... Back throw. Forward air. Yeah, and he DI'd back. He, he started to DI back when he saw Charizard coming for him, and that was terrible DI. And it looks like um, TK is going to take this convincingly on this stage. So G's going to have to pick a very, very strong counter pick for, for Charizard. Although I do feel like this stage would have worked out for him, but he kept going for these forward airs that just wasn't working off stage. And he's going to have to find a way to change it. Yeah. Terrible first play by um G. I'm gonna clear my pockets. Alright, sorry about that guys, I'm kind of trying to get all this money together. Life of a T.O. and a streamer. <laughs> Gotta get the other match on stream. So G <laughs> G is struggling right now, dude. <coughs> if G wins this, this would be an upset. Because TK is always favorited to win. It's me and TK all the time, Grand Finals. And um, this would be an upset in itself. And this is kind of scary because I have to play my sets too. <coughs> and that could be... Um, I'll change. <coughs> I 
There's a lot of sick people in the venue too. I gotta be careful, or else I'll be going over the cold. Okay. Alright, I have that sorted out now. Alright, let me get the next match on sh over there. Not out of stream. Jam versus Brawl. Where Brawl is. Alright. <laughs> Riku, come off the TV. You have to fight Brawl. Brawl, let's go. Before you get DQ. Are you ready there now? Three, two, one. You won? Stay right there. Yeah, but it's busy. Some somebody bought some. Somebody bought some. Okay, that's happening. Shaw versus TK is is where where Kendra? Someone go look for Kendra. I know. I have two more pools. I gotta run. Someone get Kendrick or I gotta DQ him. Alright. We got Lugent versus Pyro. You can get up, yeah, you can get up. Alright, we got the next match coming up right now. We got Nugent versus Pyro. Let's see how that one works out. So, Pyro, we haven't seen in ages. 10th spot ranked in melee. Gotta do one small view with him eventually. This one on. Yeah, that one on. You can't hear yourself now. You can hear the game? Don't need the music. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. I don't need the music. Yeah. You laugh? Okay. I feel bad not being able to hear myself. Yeah, I know. So Kendrick left, that means... I supposed to be able to hear you just mic, right? Yeah. Well, I have the DQM. Exactly how it's working. No, you don't supposed to hear me, no. Oh. Um, I don't, I don't have it set up like that anymore. Kendrick left, so he has to get DQ'd. Sure, man, that way. Oh, he's on it. Yeah. He shouldn't have left. But you know what? Even if he just win this one, it doesn't matter. Because you still make it out the pool, but you gotta leave anyway. Okay. I got another armor. Judging by how long these things is taking. Alright. All right, so just avoiding that yellow wire. Yeah, we don't want At least that time. red, because that definitely means danger. But yellow means exercise caution. <laughs> I like wearing red today, so I must represent danger. Probably, it's good thing I wasn't in your pool. No, you're oh, not you in my see pool. That? So. Red, red. <laughs> so look, look where we are right now. You see the color of player one star? Red. <laughs> And it seems as though Pyro decided that he was serious. He was going Luigi. Going Luigi. Uh, this yeah. Luigi is doing pretty good right now. And this Luigi of combos, he have an edge guard game. He even have a recovery game. This is sick. Whatever Pyro them been doing inside their basement. Or they cave or whatever they call it for training. Look at him. Oh, he missed they call, they call it the cave. Whatever they wow, been and he has these up two stocks. So it looks, it looks like the training... That's what he told me, you know, when I was that's coming in the gate, he, he was saying, I, I'm um, about to say, wherever they, whatever they do to train, they need to invite me. Look at this. Wow. He wasn't kidding. Like, I am so afraid of this Luigi. Wow, he is, he's putting in work. Did you 
you see that recovery? So guys, I'd like to say that new gen has always been dominant over Pyro. But for some strange reason, um, this game is just... I don't know, this, this, this tournament this tournament is just showing you the, the players that are hungry. Because he went Fox. And it seems like Pyro just has, you know, knowledge of Fox this time. Wow! That's the most. Th that was a game. game. Yeah. In my life. yeah. And that happens when whenever Luigi fights a space animal and he does an up B and the space he was trying to go after him, it it kind of just hits them a bit. It doesn't hit them like too much. It hits them a bit. And it kind of eats their jump. Oh, and it pushes them below him. Yeah, it's crazy. It's some crazy stuff. Yeah. Alright, um, so we're moving on to game two. Let's see if he has anything up his sleeve to deal. Okay, so he's going chic. So that means he isn't playing around. He, he, he told himself, you know what? I'm going to stop screwing around. I'm going to just go chic. Uh, I don't think he, he does jigs anymore. No, he, he actually he was using jigs last week. And this is something I told Wing. I was like, you know what? Nugent uses jigs now in tournament in both games. But it seems like he's going to go chic because... Maybe being unfamiliar with the matchup, and he feels like you know if I go Jake's, Luigi just has all these little giant things that might not work out for me. Wow. Okay. So the roll animation doesn't last as long in this game like it does in melee. So the game doesn't consider you occupying the ledge. Back here. Okay. Needle. Thought he's gonna do like a needle to forward air. Didn't get it. Down throw. Forward air? Okay. Forward air. So that's all he had to do right there. Because Luigi's a floaty, right? You could just pop him up with a jab and then go for the forward airs. I need to post in the group yeah, that I'm streaming. Smash for a game and watch when that up smash is up. Hey, Dad, you miss a game and watch how the invincibility on this up smash now. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me let them know we're streaming. So, like, just watching this tournament where Gimma just is literally running around throwing up, up smashes because they're invincible. What game and watch? Yeah. In Project M? Hmm, Smash 4. Okay, that'd have been Smash 4 because he stopped streaming Project M. That's a crazy question. Yeah. Game and Watch is like one of the most annoying characters. Yeah, this character they could have possibly put in. Already not. Okay. But all you need to win is four nines. Yeah. Mm. Nah. So it seems like Sheik is the answer to this Luigi. And no one takes that into consideration. They'd be like, you know what? I'm ready for Space Animal. But are you ready for the Sheik? You know, are you ready? Okay, so you're saying, okay, I studied your character. I'm going to go home and find a way to, you know, punish you. But are you ready for my counter pick? And that's, that's, that's where you got to give the eyebrow. Like, are you, are you ready for this other counter pick that I have waiting on you? Um, so it seems like Pyro... I was saying, I don't think Pyro was prepared for the Sheik. For the Sheik? No. I think he was prepared for the Jigglypuff. I think he was semi-prepared for the Fox. Wow! Does he... No, he doesn't. And he's in mashing. He, he doesn't mash hard enough to, to get the full, you know, rising out of that. Any of us that good to get the full rising. But, I mean, and I could do it a little bit better than what he's doing. Because I would rise much higher. He isn't... He just is... He isn't mashing out as hard as he should. Alright, so, um... Nice and air. But you can't do that to Sheik. Sheik is invincible, you know. But now the secret to Project M is you can only stall on the ledge five times. You can let go of the ledge and re grab it five times and you'll have invincibility. After the fifth, you have no invincibility. So you, you can't Mewtwo King stall the ledge. Wow. Alright, so New Gen was serious about that. He was like, nah. Ah, son. No, no, it's not gonna end like that. None of that today. No, 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 no more upset. Uh, this entire time. Yeah. And then that game one felt so good. Then game two was nearly a four star. Nearly, was, yeah. I don't know what happened game two, but I couldn't even make it look like it was close. <laughs> I wish we had three setups of Project M, my goodness. As